Okay, it's uh, 10 after 1, at least by my watch, so we can go ahead and get started. I guess this is a close enough time. Uh, my name is Pat Catalano, and I am an obstetrician, maternal fetal medicine person, and I'm interested in things like diabetes and obesity, and uh, was interested enough and was fortunate enough to be involved in the original committee looking at the weight gain guidelines. And um, I've been asked to come back and serve on this committee to look at the implementation. And I think that um, I think I've learned a lot in this morning session, and I think I'm going to learn a lot more this afternoon session as we continue to go forward. Because I think the purpose of this meeting is an interaction of ideas. I think the committee, uh, together with IOM staff and Yachting in particular, have been very helpful in putting together some of the things that you saw this morning that Anna Maria presented. But I think that there are a lot more ideas out there uh, from all of you, which is really the goal of this part of the day or the latter part of this morning session as well, just to keep on getting different ideas and what are you doing and how, how can we do what we do better. So let me go ahead and get started. Uh, this session we're going to have uh, three speakers and they're going to spend about 10 minutes each and then we'll have a question and answer session. And then we'll have uh, a speaker, uh, Dick Sass, who I'll introduce uh, afterwards, and who'll have 20 minutes to a half hour to kind of give his thoughts on this topic. So the uh, first speaker we have uh, on your program is Deborah Whitford, who is the director of the Supplemental Food Program Division at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. She is unable to make it. I'm not sure if it's because of sequestration or other issues. That's exactly the reason why. Well, it, it hits. But the good news is, is that Marta Keeley is here, who works with uh, uh, Deborah. And uh, let me just tell you a little about the Supplemental Food Program. And it's basically the WIC program and um, the WIC Farmers Market Nutrition Program. Other programs include the Seniors Farmer Market Nutrition Program. And this group has the responsibility for developing legislative and regulatory proposals in the policy guidance for a range of WIC program areas, including vendor management, food packaging, certification, and nutritional uh, risk factors. And I know that um, Ms. Whitford has been with the WIC program for 33 years. Uh, Marta Keeley, how long have you been with the program? Over 20, that counts. You, 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 got, you, got, you got street cred here as far as I'm concerned. So why don't you come on up and uh, give us a, a talk. You can either sit here or at this podium, wherever you feel most comfortable. <laughs> 